Hi, I'm Tim O'Loughlin, a product manager here at Vantage Controls. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our new enhanced lighting control product that we'll be releasing this year. The lighting control environment is rapidly changing. Lighting designers and integrators alike are dealing with new code requirements like arc fault breaker, low wattage light sources, and new developing energy efficient standards, while still needing to provide effective but precise lighting control solutions to the ultra luxury space. So I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the new standard dimming module. The standard dimming module has a lot of new key features. One of those new key features is the support for low wattage loads, as well as current sensing on the four line feeds for energy management and the support of arc fault breakers. The new module, as you see, has handles on it for the ease of installation and removing the product after installed. The product has one part number for 120 to 277 volt support, and it also has a 30% larger heat sink for 50% more loads and 100% more power. This product now has 12 loads on it instead of 8. It is firmware upgradable in the field, so as new key features come out, the product will support that, as well as field serviceable fuses on all four line feeds, so if there's a short, that the product will be protected. Now let's talk about the new DIN LVOS. This product will release at the same time as the new standard dimming module will. It has 1 to 8 0 to 10 outputs or the capability of doing 4 PWM outputs. This product is also firmware upgradable in the field. Shortly after this product releases we will have the new standard LVOS. This product has 4 PWM, 4 0 to 10, and 4 high voltage relays. This product is also powered by 120 to 277 volts, has Ethernet bus support or station bus support, and actually has the capability of being firmware upgradable also in the field. Again, about mid-year this product will release around July. So now let me take the opportunity to introduce you to the new enclosures. The new enclosures were released around February of this year. The new enclosures are about 10 inches taller than the previous enclosure, as you can see. It has a new color, as you can tell, nickel frost. And along with that new enclosure, you can see that the new enclosure, this is the way it ships, without the terminal boards, where the old enclosure shipped with the new terminal boards. Some key things that you need to be aware of. So when you're ordering this enclosure, you need to order your terminal boards separate, and they are per device that you order. So now we'll start with the new enclosure and show you how to install a, a the terminal board for the new standard dimming module. That would be a TSDM kit. In that kit, I'll open it up and kind of quickly show you what's inside there. In that kit, you get the left and right terminal boards. You also get the instruction manual. You get a set of labels and you get the screws to install the terminal boards. The reason that was done was simply, as, as you're seeing, is the new module supports more loads, so we had to design new terminal boards for that. So as you order your enclosures, you will have to order the, the terminal board specific to where you're going to be placing the modules. So at this point, just put a couple screws in. And that's installed. Now, the new standard dimming module can plug in its position, lock it down, and it's installed. By pressing out on the sides, it will eject itself out of the box. Okay? The other thing that's with that, I showed you the labels. The labels are there to go in to help you see your wiring. So it can be there for the electrician, or the electrician, when he's installing it, can have it there for his guys. And you can see his line feeds, his loads, his neutrals. Those go on both sides. Also, we want to show you if you have a legacy module, like an old relay module, so this is an old relay module, and we want to make sure that you have an opportunity to install those in these closures. You would use a TLM kit. Okay? The TLM kit basically has all the same parts. The only thing different in it is it has the legacy terminal boards. Okay? So we have green terminal boards. Okay? We have to remove You've got to remove a couple screws here first. The bottom right need to come out. The top left have to come out. These boards just slide in, just like the other boards do. 
the little kit bag inside there actually comes with four screws and two retaining clips. Okay, because they don't have the handles on these modules, the old modules, so we have to retain them. Two of the screws go back in the centers on each one. We tighten those up. And then you're going to take a retaining clip. And there's a retaining clip. We're going to take a retaining clip, a screw, put it there. take one and put it down that bottom right where we took that little screw out. Got a little different style of label. You can kind of see that label is a little bit different. And that label again just gives indicators for wiring. So you can see your line feeds, your loads, and your neutrals. Okay, so now you can take a new module, and again, we recommend you load them from the bottom first so you get the low voltage connector in. And that's how the new old module fits in a new enclosure. So you can intermix these. If you use all the standard dimming module in there, you can put 48 loads in this enclosure. Another key feature that you need to know is if you always remember the green terminal boards are for legacy product, and the black boards are for the standard dimming module. If you look on the top of the standard dimming module, the label is black and silver. Okay, so it's black and silver label. Okay, the other thing you can look at is back inside the terminal board here is black. So black goes with black. So if you can remember that, you'll always know and you can tell your apprentices that are out on the jobs that the blacks go to the new standard dimming module and any of the greens go to their, your legacy modules. Okay, one other thing I want to introduce you to is the new jumper boards. These are the new jumper terminal boards. I want you to see what they look like. This is what you've dealt with in the past if you're current dealer. This is the new terminal board, the jumper terminal board you need to use. Please understand if you don't use these during installation, your warranty is void, okay? So again, old and new. Let me show you how they work. So if you remember, the old ones plug in like so, and you had a dip switch that you set depending on if it was a relay or a dimmer. The new ones, so you use two in this configuration. The new ones, you will stick four in and there's no switches required. You plug those in, you can leave them in during the construction, don't pull them out if you've got loads attached to them for arcing reasons, but that's how you would use the new jumper terminal boards. Thanks for spending time with us today. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to talk to you about our new enhanced lighting control solution and platform. The goal here at Vantage is to provide a powerful solution with an inherent technical features and gives you the ease of both programming and installation, which is critical to successful delivery of a lighting control solution in the luxury space. Please, if you have any questions, go to our website, advantagecontrols.com, or go see our YouTube videos on installation and programming, the Vantage Control Solution. Thanks, and have a great day.